Hey, we're back to Triple R. We're gonna look at the uh, Jurassic World pop-up game. This is just trouble, but why buy trouble when you have dinosaurs trouble? Looks like fine blue. Five bucks for uh, trouble is always a fun enough game. I mean, it's definitely all luck. That's for sure. But let's see how this looks. Doesn't look bad. So it looks like you got your Triceratops, T Rex. Not sure what kind of source that is, and I guess your raptor. Let's see if the bubble works. All right, got a five. Lots of playing pieces, some instructions somewhere. There we go. Not exactly well crafted. Pop-up game. Be the first player to move all four of your pawns around the board into the finish line. Holds die. That's where it goes first. To get out, you gotta get a six. And then if you fail, pass, roll six. Place where your pawns, pawns at start. Anytime you roll a six, get an additional roll, okay. And you move around the board all the way to your star space. If you land on a space occupied by another player's pawn, you may remove that player's game piece from the board and return it to their home base. So that's a little, a little bit of take that. Get your playing pawns, move around the board completely, and they must then enter the finish line. You can only move your pawns into spaces when you roll the exact number you need to move all the way into spaces. So if you're here and this is full and you need a one. First player, get all the pawns in the finish line, you're good. And you really just buy this game for this. But the dinosaur um, art is pretty good. It's a little on the dark side. It's just a little harder to see. Kind of makes it look like it pops more on the back here. That's fine. Five bucks, you get your trouble game. You get dinosaurs, which is a little more interesting than trouble. If you're a dinosaur fan. All right, Jurassic World pop-up game.